Now on this channel, we might not get everything right when it comes to the top 10 videos. And even on our last video with the top 7 golf courses in the Philippines, because of the outlandish amount of comments going out there and feedback from the community at large, we decided to go back and look at the top 20 golf courses now within this unbelievable country of golf. It's one of the most underrated golf countries in the world. So let's start us off at number 20 on this list, typically of top tens. And swinging in, and we're not pronouncing because that was one of the feedbacks down below. Let's zoom on in to our number 20th golf course on this list. And if we're getting anything wrong so far, comment down below. We're using your comments. The course is a par 68 that stretches 5,152 yards from the back tees. There's three sets of tees here, and it looks like majority of the holes are par fours and par threes. The course is a public golf course, and we'll warn you, there's some private golf courses as we move forward, so take advantage of these public courses. Built in 1986, the course has a rating of 65.6, a slope of 122, and it's got driving range, punting facilities, a restaurant, a bunch of other amenities to get you going for your round of golf. And 5,400 yards from those back tees, arguably as far as you can go. Let's zoom on out so now we can look at number 19 on our list. The course is not open to the public. It is a semi-private, but more private. Looks like it's appeared to be more of a military golf course here. Executive style stretching 5,410 yards. The course has a slope of 129 and is a par 70. It also has a rating of 67.2. Has a little bit of history being built in 1980. The golf season is open year-round. We're able to pull some interesting pictures of this golf course throughout and it looks like it could be a hidden gem there's not too much information outside of some of the information that we're telling you right now arguably it may be even be higher on this list that's why we need to use your comments down below to make that judgment but so far you can see it's not too far from cities and it's arguably a beautiful golf course now let's take a look at our number 18th golf course for this incredible country with golf zooming on in to number 18. unfortunately this is one of those private golf courses but as you can see right off this is a very unique golf course we hope to hit up on this channel it's a par 72 and it plays all of that stretching 6,614 yards the course has a slope of 123 and a rating of 73.1 not too much history here, being built in 2014. Its golf season is open year-round, and it's a Gary Player designed course. Pinelands is arguably a private oasis on a mountain. As you can see right now, should be a little bit higher on our list, but that's why we're using your comments to drive this conversation of top golf courses within this country. We got a lot of good feedback on the last video and that's why we went back and dove into the top 20 here. Let's zoom on in to number 17 now. Throughout this country, so much good golf, so many great things to visit. The course here is a par 72 that stretches along 7,300 in 85 yards and it plays all of that 18 holes listed as a parkland style course now we're going to take a limb and say that this is a private golf course based on some of the pictures we couldn't find as much information as we would have liked on this particular golf course but we were able to find some good pictures of this course and this is why we put it in at number 17. we look forward to traveling the country and playing some of this incredible golf throughout the country and I want to point out this hole right here looks like it could even be a floating par four on a lake those are the things that we're looking at to bring it over the list of the top 20 so this is now number 16 on our list we're slowly moving through but we got some great golf left let's zoom on in to number 16 here which is more of a Pineland style course here classified as a resort style course so you probably have to stay at the resort to play it it's a par 
72. That stretch is along 7,121 yards. The course has a slope of 131 and a rating of 74.9. Had a couple previous name changes throughout its years, but currently sits at the name right now. Now, I will say the course has more history than the other ones listed on this. Being built in 1964, and is listed also as open year-round. Let's zoom on out because we are now breaking in to the top 15 golf courses throughout the country. We're even getting closer to our top 10 list that we're looking forward to taking a look at. Let's zoom on in to another military-style golf course. There's a few of these, and they have to be noted because they're beautiful. We're going to call it a public golf course if somehow you can get onto it, but chances are it's not public, but it's listed like that. It's a part 72 that stretches 6,681 yards. It has a slope of 132 and a rating of 71.5. got some good pictures of this golf course, but not as many as we would have liked to have found. Of course, it has that much information that we can't find. We look forward to maybe even playing this golf course throughout our trips. And I will say, the country does have some good golf, so hopefully we can get out here and try to play some of these courses. Now, we can't find when the course was built, but it's probably, you know... Uh, maybe 90s let's let's argue but put those comments down below if we get anything right we can't find that information but let's zoom on in to number 14 now on our top list more often than not a golf course can slap you across the face and that's what this course here did at Sun Valley looking into it it's a public golf course that has an opportunity for all of us to play but most importantly it's incredibly looking it's a par 71 that stretches 6,500 and 69 yards for a slope of 121 and a rating of 72.1 it's been shout out at our that was one of our original golf courses that we might have missed on our previous list and now we put it back on here to make sure it's counted and we shouldn't have missed it because it has a ton of history being built in 1964 it's an arnold palmer designed course and it's one of those hidden gems that sometimes just sneaks through the cracks Let's take a look now at lucky number 13 on this list of top golf courses. And there's a lot to like here at this course, zooming in to number 13. There's a lot of golf located at this private resort. Doesn't look like it's going to be public, but we're going to list number one out of two of these courses, which is a par 72, stretching 7,314 yards course aren't that old being built in 2017 it's open year-round and there's a reason why it should be because you're going to want to play this golf every day if you get a chance to play it looks like it's an incredible golf course with a ton of water on it but most importantly it didn't break into our top 10 so it makes you wonder what's going on with the top golf courses within this country this is a private course so if you get a chance to play it or if you've played it as a non-member let us know and write down in the comment section zooming out we still have 12 more golf courses to take a look at on this list of world golf courses so let's zoom in, in to number 12 on this list and if you made it this far it can't hurt to subscribe fortunately is another private golf courses that we're probably never going to be able to have the chance to play but we want to talk about it because it's built and it's a private course that looks unbelievable in this country and it's on our top list so the course stretches 7044 yards and had multiple name changes throughout its history we don't have the exact date of the course, but it was built in the 90s, it looks like, and it also was built by Murrayhead, which is a famous golf designer within the golf Philippine area. Now, I will note that this course doesn't have as much information as we would have liked, but we can see from aerial footage that there is an incredible private golf course, and sometimes we just don't get the information we would like on these private golf courses. So we're priced out. So let's zoom on in. We'll zoom on out first. There's a lot of zooming on this channel, but we're zooming around and we're looking at number 12. And hopefully we don't bring that up again. 
but we're going to take a look now at our number 12 on our list. Let's quickly get there because this course is on a mountain and it doesn't even look right. So let's see if we can get some good pictures of this. We gave it to the Sun Valley course here at this resort. Now it looks like it is public if you're staying at the resort. So what an incredible golf course. It's a par 72 that stretches 7,015 yards. It wasn't built too long ago, being built in 2014. A lot to like here with the driving range and another golf course, but most importantly, there's picturesque views on the side of mountains where you can lose a few of your golf balls, and you can see that each hole is kind of separated from each other, but there's a lot of golf here with two courses being listed. At least that's what we have on our list. Let's zoom on out because this course that we're looking at, number 10, is breaking in our list in half. So at number 10, there's an incredible Northwood golf course, and it's not the one in California. Let's take a look now at this incredible Parkland slash Pineland style course. It's a private golf course, and we might not get a chance to play, of course, but it's a par 72 that stretches another 7,032 yards. That's one thing out here. These courses, they play long. It was built in 1999. It has Bermuda grass. It's open year-round and was designed by Garmin Marsh in 1999. He had some updates, looks like, in the late 2000s. We got some good pictures of this course, and it's very well known within the country. Now, you can see there's even more than maybe 18 holes here, so we didn't provide the best information. But there's a lot of golf within this facility, and we hopefully can get that out there. But because it's one of those private courses, hopefully we'll get on the grounds and get more information while we're there. Let's take a look at number nine on our list but as a private slash resort so there could be an opportunity to play here it's a par 72 that stretches 6974 yards it has a slope of 123 and a rating of 72.5 it was built in 1998 so it doesn't have too many years under its belt, but most importantly, it was built by Robert Trent Jones Jr. Had some updates by Donald Nock and also Gary Glynn. And around that time, it looked like the whole team kind of came together to build this private oasis uh, surrounded by a town. So now you're probably wondering, what's going on? We're getting close to the top eight golf courses. Well, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. We're constantly going back and updating these videos. And the proof is in the pudding because you're watching that video right now. That's one of the updated ones. Let's take a look at number eight on our list. Now, it's important to note this is opinionated. And some of these could even be a little bit higher, like this golf course here. It's very interesting and hopefully... We could find a member on this channel to take us there because this is a private course that altogether looks like there's a couple nine holes and we don't know you know it looks like a little bit over seven thousand yards for both of these course holes here but there's 18 holes of incredible golf located on this facility it was built in 1997 it's open year round and was built by famous golf architect Bob Moore had some updates in the late 2000s, but it still sits as one of the most prestigious private golf resorts in the country. There's a ton of nine holes and maybe even 18 holes. There's just a lot of golf within this facility. Let's zoom on out because it's taking a look at those type of golf courses make you wonder what number seven has to offer. So now let's take a look here as we continue to go through the country and bring you those top golf courses. And if we missed anything, write down in the comment section. So here we are at a number seven. Few golf courses here. We're going to have to absolutely give it to the ledges courses, which we had some information on. The course stretches 6,566 meters. It is a slope of 136, so it's pretty challenging and has a rating of 73.6 built in 1992 so it's a little bit of history and it's jack nicholas design course which we do like tom pick was also involved in the designing of this golf course and you can see right off the bat on the layout you got some streams coming through you got a nice residential area you got a beautiful canvas for golf with picturesque backdrops let's now look at and this course did make our list originally so let's take a look now at number six 
So knock, knock on the door. It's Whack Whack Golf Club. And there's a lot to like here also at the course that started controversy on this channel. We thought it was public. It's not. It's a private golf course. And it's one of the most prestigious private golf courses within the country. A few golf courses here. We'll have to give it over to the West Course, which stretches along 6,540 yards. The course has a slope of 137 and a rating of 71 Point seven, but look good look getting in it's open year-round and was built by AG AMG worldwide which built some other golf courses within the country now it's got a team of golf architects and they're very well known but look at this it's kind of built within the city we got some cool aerial footage of that now we're breaking in to the top five golf courses the original list of top five has now been brought to you so let's take a look at the Riviera Golf Club, another course that has made our list on the other video. And we have to give acknowledgement when acknowledgement is due. And with this course, you can see off the bat, something unique's happening here. But good luck getting in because it's a private resort style course. It's a par 71 that stretches 7,057 yards. It was built in a time we don't know because we can't find much information on these private golf courses other than some pictures we were able to pull from the internet. The course stretches 6,522 yards. It has a par of 72 and it looks like five different tee boxes to choose from and the whole number four being the most challenging. It's been arguably one of the best golf courses for most people that have had a chance to play it and it might even go a little bit higher on our list during these updated videos but the country's got a ton of good golf so it's hard not to argue with number five there let's take a look at the number fourth golf course a course that beat that course out zooming in now to number four it looks like they got two golf courses to choose from we'll give it to the mountain course but yet another private resort style course when i say two golf courses two nine hole golf courses nine holes in that there's only a par 36 with the mountain course but if you put them together you got an incredible golf course it's built in 2012 and it's listed as built year round the golf designer was david dole and it also had some major updates by kevin ramskin in the late 2012 it looks like they both came together to put together some credible golf here and if you look right off the bat you could see this course might even be a little bit higher on our list with some of these holes kind of on the water very unique very interesting but it also makes you wonder what number three has to offer the top three golf courses left in the country so let's take a look now at that golf course yet another private golf course now this course one last updated video on the top golf courses within the philippines but not on this one it dropped down to number third it's a private resort parkland style course that's a par 72 course stretches along 7067 yards with a slope of 139 it's a hard golf course and its rating is a 74.4 ton of history and that's why we didn't miss it on the first couple videos being built in 1995 it also is open year round and was built by famous golf architect and player arnold palmer you can see right off the bat that this is a unique golf course with a couple hazardous water and then you can see it gets a little open here on it looks like to be the back nine it's got all the amenities you need but it's not the number one golf course so without further ado we're now looking at the number two golf course right before we sneak in to number one so let's zoom on in to that golf course on this list it's private it's elite and we missed it before and that's because there's not much information on it but you can see it cannot hide from aerial footage it's a parkland style course that stretches 7117 yards with a slope of 132 and a rating of 74.9 the course was built in 1994 and it's very hard to even get a tee time or involve yourself at all with members on the golf course it's built by robert trent jones jr and had some updates by gary glenn 
I will say that this course is incredible based on some of the pictures that we were able to find, but it's not our number one golf course. And a lot of the fans had to do with bringing this course here that you're seeing to number two. It snuck through the cracks and now we need to acknowledge it. So without further ado, let's bring to you the number one golf course so far for this channel. Now we might go back and update it, but chances are we won't. So let's zoom on in to number one on this list, unless we got it wrong and we use your comments down below. But this was one that's been listed as a, an elite private course, but most importantly, the number one course. Considered to be the gem within the Philippines, the course stretches a true long 7,526 yards from the extreme back tees for competition. But from the front tees, it's only 6,083. I will say that there's not too much information other than that it's extremely secretive and there's three tee boxes located there. The number hardest hole is number two on this course and I will say the front is a 36 and the back is a 36. It's all in all a par 72 if you add those both up. But there's nothing else to add up if you pull in some of this aerial footage of this incredible golf course. Now, if we got this wrong or you don't agree with the list, write down in the comment section below. We cannot address that enough. We use your comments down below to make updates to our videos. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're hitting all the golf courses in the world and we hopefully will hit this course as go well. Fly. This is World Twilight Golf. Launch Control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.